Welcome everyone, I'm Nausicaa and this is The Cool Heart. I'm obsessed with art, so I can wait to share with you this incredible contemporary artists, from pop art to street art to photographers. But we will also talk about fashion, business, women empowering, and most of all, we will have conversation with cool people with a big, big heart. Welcome to my channel, everybody. Get your coffee, your tea, and your glass of water. I think that was pretty messy. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Nausicaa and today we're going to talk about how to start your art collection. What is the difference between home decor and art, right? Because that's true, now you can find so many nice objects that are very cute and cool to decorate your home. Those objects, which is really nice, don't get me wrong, they, you know, usually made in factories and they sell millions of that in time it will not get any value. Once you wanna get rid of it, you're gonna maybe sell the subject in a garage sale for maybe two bucks or three bucks, right? So when you start collecting art, what is interesting is the value your art piece will have in time. It could be a really good investment. So now let's talk about money, right? Because when you talk about art collecting, you might think, wow, it's gonna cost million. And that is kind of true though, but not only. You have art from thousands of dollars, from hundreds of thousands of dollars to millions and crazy money, right? But it will, of course, depend on the artist. In the contemporary world, there is what we call emergent artists, which are young artists that are starting, you know, being in art galleries, doing shows, exhibitions, such as Art Basel, Miami, Hong Kong, or and other art fairs, and that have a little name in the art community. Each year, they're taking more and more value. Usually, they're represented in art gallery, and you can find them also online in the art platform. There is a couple of good art platforms, such as artsy i will put the link below there is also first deep for instance there is artnet there's a couple of very nice art you know, websites you know, that are really well known and safe usually represented by nice gallery all around the world those emerging artists pop art street art contemporary abstract artists depends of you know the style of the artist they often make what we call limited edition right so they usually paint on canvas or they make sculptures and they do also sometimes prints they're numbered they could be one on 20 be 50 prints or 100 prints the lowest is the better of course but depends on which artist also i just made a video with lina valentina if you haven't seen it i'm gonna put the video right there then you can have a look and this artist for instance does prints times to times limited edition those prints are very interesting because you can get those prints under $100 knowing that the canvas usually go for around $8,000 to $10,000. Some artists go, you know, till $25,000 the canvas, but they do make beautiful prints that are numbered and that are signed. This is a good way to invest in art collecting prints, starting by prints, right? And also today I have that pink lollipop that you can see, which is really nice. It, for instance, this sculpture he is about $4,500, right? Dollars. They also have a limited edition of very tiny lollipops, which are, I think, about 10 or 12 inches. And they are super nice, super cute, and super affordable. They're about $100, less than $100. This is what I really do like, is to have a really, you know, a niche artist that do have limited series and prints and limited editions, which is a very good way to invest. Today I went to the atelier and I learned about the whole process, which is really interesting. So everything is done by hand. So the process is really simple. They're starting doing the sculpture in clay and then they do a mold and this is what it comes. And then they paint it and spray paint it and put resin on top. And the tiny lollipop, they're very cute and I really do like it because it's 
totally affordable, could be a really nice gift, nice birthday gift, and it's kind of artsy and brings something different that you won't find anywhere and there's not gonna be a million of it. So this is a good way to start to collect art. I would say you could go to all of those art platforms, go to your art gallery and ask them, feel comfortable, say, oh, do you have any limited edition? This is a really good way to start collecting. So thank you for watching, hit the bell, subscribe and of course leave a comment if there's anything, a subject you want me to talk about, I'll be very very pleased to have a look at it. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell.